What do companies love to do now? I mean, torture's a close second. Video game delays, one of the biggest kick to the nads since the stock market crash of 1929. Don't you just love it when something says that it's gonna come out this year and then it just comes out the next year because why? I just love it when a game that I'm hoping that it comes out this holiday does that two years later. It's great! Most of the time it feels like video game delays are made to kick your ass. I know, my dad was a video game delay. Now don't get me wrong, I think delays are super important, and I think that they are well deserved most of the time. But when it comes to FF7 getting delayed two months later just so pre-orders can work out, it's just, no, that just doesn't make any sense. Two months in the gaming industry is like a day in a normal person's life, this, this is just stupid. But sometimes games are in delay because of stuff that they can't control. Like the first game that I wanted to talk about today, Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp. And yes, that is the full title, and yes, it is confusing. Like, jeez, that's a lot of words. This game has been practically beaten to death at this point. I mean, it's been literally delayed twice. The second time, we don't even know how long it's gonna be delayed. If you didn't know, Advance Wars was supposed to come out in December of last year. And then it got pushed to April 8th this year. And then it got delayed for an undescribable amount of time because of worldly events. Like, I'm surprised this game is still even standing. Nintendo's probably broken both of its legs by now. So we don't know when it's releasing, and it's really sad. I mean, don't get me wrong. Multiple Nintendo games have been doing big delays like this for a long-ass time. Then again, it does bring out a good product. But when I have to wait five to six years for Metroid Prime 4, I, we might have a problem here. Because I get that they restarted and then sent it over to Retro. But there are two other games that did that exact thing and didn't do the reset announcement, just took five years to make, like Bayonetta 3 and SMT5, so... Yeah, delays kinda suck. It's even more depressing to see that this game can't really breathe and try and succeed, because it's an obscure Nintendo series, so if you this game doesn't do well, we're probably never gonna get an Advance Wars, like, remaster like this ever again and it's just super sad it's depressing okay mom the world's fucking over my advance wars and with how many delays this game is getting i think it's gonna miss the big tactic spark that we've seen recently in the gaming industry you probably haven't even seen or even really realized it but tactics games are everywhere nowadays especially on switch Mario and Rabbits, Metal Slug Tactics, Front Mission, all of those just really solid tactics games. And that's not even mentioning Fire Emblem Three Houses. This game is getting so screwed over and it's just sad to see this because a lot of people like Advance Wars and I know that a lot of people wanted this game really bad and I know a lot of people popped off when they saw that this was part of Virtual Console and along with Mother 3 on Wii U and it's just it's sad to see this game not be able to breathe because this game would be so good right now also also probably should state this probably should um to the people that say Advance Wars looks like a mobile game stop saying that that is its art style and that is how it looks so if you're saying it looks like a mobile game go fuck yourself anyway let's get back to the video now i'd like to present to you the other game i wanted to talk about <laughs> Hell yeah, Neon, why is this shit? The problem is whenever I bring up this game, no one knows what I'm talking about, so I'm here to clarify that. Neon White is a card-based shoot-em-up hack and slash, I think, that was actually supposed to come out in winter of last year. <laughs> Fun fact, it didn't. Neon White is a sick-ass game. I f absolutely love its premise, its design, its art style, what it is. It's just great. And it's probably realistically gonna be one of my favorite indie games because I don't play a lot of indie games. I don't know why, but I developed something that gives me kind of a tolerance or resistance against indie games because it's either I think that they're gonna be good but overrated or just kind of bad. 
I've loosened up over the years, and even though I haven't played, like, the super big boy ones, like Celeste and Cuphead, I have played some of the smaller, more popular indie games that are actually super fun to get into, like Stick Fight and Undertale and Deltarune. So, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna probably like this game. I have a very high preference when it comes to video games, and it's actually kind of confusing to me and everyone else around me. I'm super into fast-paced action fighting in, like, hack-and-slash games, but then I also really like slow-as-hell games, like visual novels and JRPGs. And trust me, I don't get it either. But I should stop talking about my preferences and start talking about Neon White, because holy crap, I love this game and everything that it stands for, and I want my hands on it now. This game has not had it as rough as Advance Wars, but I still think it's worth talking about because I, I don't know, I just love this game, man. This game was supposed to come out in December 2021, but the developers flew too close to the sun thinking that, yes, it would come out in winter of 2021, when realistically they decided to push back and polish up the game a little bit more before, you know, sending it off to the public and having them think that it was a terrible product. So, this is good. I I think more people should just delay their games instead of having, you know, the release date be more important than the actual game. I feel like that's been screwing over a lot of companies like EA and Game Freak as a whole. I mean, those companies are notorious for, like, very much overworking the developers of games just so they could have it out at like a certain release time or release date so yeah but this game is actually really sick and i do like that it was delayed because the gameplay looks super smooth now and while i am sad that this game is being delayed i think there's just so much to offer this year when it comes to gaming that I don't think I'll, well, I don't want to say I'm not going to be missing it as much, because I still really want to play this game, but I have other options. This would just be something else to the table if it was, you know, released like now or earlier. So yeah, it just is really nice to see this game run well and be smooth and just be a really solid good looking game it's just god it's so so smooth and i just oh my god i want my well these two games have been in delay hell for quite some time and i don't think it's justifiably right that they have to even though they have two different reasons for doing it i think it's just better this way well, not that they're constantly just held behind bars in a jail cell. I think, realistically, at the soonest, we'll probably get both of these games out before 2023, which I still highly doubt because of how things are with, well, Advanced Wars reasons for being delayed. But looking back at these, both of these games have evolved so so much like when they were first revealed and updates on them now we recently saw gameplay for neon white and it looks a hell of a lot better and a lot smoother too everything just looks a lot more polished and it's just really nice to see how much these games have grown i mean even with advanced wars it hasn't changed a lot but Things are just a lot more smoother, the frame rate is consistent, the colors pop out more, there's just more info in general and more content being put into these games because they're forced to be delayed. I think this is just a good thing overall. While yes, delays just suck overall and it really hurts multiple people, having your product be quality is way more important than having it out on a certain deadline. I mean, look at how Breath of the Wild was delayed for practically three years, and then put on Switch in 2017, and look where that got us. And I mean, vice versa, the opposite way around, look how Sword and Shield turned out because they wanted to hit a certain holiday deadline, and was very specific on wanting to hit that 
that they didn't give us a quality game. They had to cut things. They had to make things look shit. They had to rush things. They couldn't do everything they wanted because Game Freak is constantly forcing them to stay within a certain deadline of trying to get these games out. Because realistically, we have a Pokemon game every three years. We have a new gen every three years. So, I... It's just... With the drop in quality of certain Pokemon games because of these certain deadline bullshit, I think that we should just have more delays and stop trying to put dates on things and how they should be released and let things finish themselves. While these games and their situations really do hurt me and a lot of other people wishing that these games were out by now, this just gives them more time to make the game just as good as they want them to. It makes them have the time to make their games perfect and high quality and what they want to produce. But anyway, that is the end of this video of Two Games in Delay Hell. Uh, I hope you liked it. Be sure to like and subscribe and do all that stuff below. Obviously, if you want, it's completely optional. But if you do, I'll greatly appreciate it. And it helps my channel become higher quality in the future. So, as always, see you in the next one, folks.